Nearly 2 million acres of land will be declared protected after the Caribou Recovery Agreement was signed in Vancouver this week. The provincial government signed the agreement despite local governments asking for change. In order for this to be acceptable to the people of the region, the people live here, industry, businesses, there was some minor changes that needed to be included. The B.C. government says the agreement strives to protect Southern Mountain Caribou in northeastern B.C. while considering the social and economic well-being of the communities. They don't know the socioeconomic impacts on our region, what they'll be. So they're saying, we're going to sign it, then we'll figure it out. This could cost hundreds of jobs. Kathleen Connolly from the Dawson Creek and District Chamber of Commerce says she read in a statement that there would be no impact to fishing, hiking or uh, campgrounds uh, and there would be no impact to mills, mines and pipelines. Adding that she has some uncertainty. Will it impact motorized vehicles like ATVs, quads, side-by-sides, um, river boats, um, and even snowmobiles? And so I think there's a lot of uncertainty around the recreation side of it. Connolly says we need to come together as a community to figure this out. I think it's important to recognize that nations have rights and um, privileges uh, that have to be respected by law. We need to understand that and accept that to really focus on cultures and values and find common ground there. The 30-year agreement is the first of its kind in Canada. They did not roll this out to us in a manner that was collaborative. It was really an edict. This is how it's going to be and you are going to accept it. And of course, we're Northerners. We want to be a part of the solution. We don't want to be told how the solution is going to look. Laura Kraus, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.